Hey guys, Rob Boehner, producer at LiveX here, and today I've got uh, an exciting new product from Ada Imaging. This is the G-Con SDI. Now, it's a very unique device. I was really excited to get my hands on it because I'd never seen anything quite like it. Um, it is a Genlock converter, and what that does is it, it runs sync into your video signal to keep uh, your cameras all in sync. Now, there's a lot of difference between sync and timecode. Sync is run by Blackburst in HD video, and all that really is is black video that acts as a reference point for all the other cameras to run the same clock speed. Now, it's called sync or genlock in the video world, and in audio world, it's called the world clock, and what that does is it makes sure that all of your sources are synced up and recording at the same rate. Now, this differs from timecode, where timecode is merely a reference point of when the recording was started and when the recording was stopped. But that doesn't do anything for drift or the potential of drift over a long recording, especially in a live environment. So we use Genlock to make sure that all of our sources stay in time with the timecode that makes it very easy for an editor to work with later. And also some switchers, like our Ross Carbonite, will not allow sources to come into the switcher unless they are synced all to one master clock. So the ideal workflow is to have a master clock in master control or with the audio engineer that can then spit out Genlock to all your camera sources and world clock to your audio source. And what that'll do is make sure that your recordings are all in time with all your ISO tracks and that everything hits your switcher at the same time. So what we have here from Ada Imaging is a Genlock converter. There's a lot of different ways to get Genlock into a camera. Some cameras don't have a Genlock uh, a BNC connector to be able to bring it in, but this solves that problem. So you can take in here, you see in the device, we have, um, let me get rid of this plastic here. Uh, it has an indicator light letting you know that there's video coming in. SDI in, this is your reference source coming from your master clock or your Genlock sync generator. Um, and this will tell you, this indicator light tells you if it's synced. This indicator light tells you if it has power, it uses DC 12 volt in. Um, and then it has an SDI out and an HDMI out. That's interesting because most of the time you have no way of getting Genlock into an HDMI source, right? So, for instance, we own a Carbonite Black Solo. Uh, Ross, uh, Ross Imaging makes the Carbonite Black Solo. I have six SDI inputs and I have three HDMI inputs. Now, without one of these, there's, no, there's not a way for me to get that HDMI input to be synced with the other cameras. Because once you go to HDMI, there's pretty much no way, except for through a device like this, that you can get that signal to sync up uh, so that the switcher won't reject it. So it has a little LCD with a little selector knob on the side here to be able to go through uh, different options inside the menu system. It's one of the coolest things because even if I were to take an HDMI camera, convert it to SDI, run it into here, and then run my reference signal, my sync genlock signal, in here, then I could get HDMI back out on this end, or I also have SDI out on this end. So uh, I believe this will do up to 1080p 60. Let me just double check that. It features SMPTE 292 and 424M uh, standard, def, standard high definition video format, including 60 hertz. SMPTE 352 with ancillary data supported. It's highly compatible with tri-level reference, adjustable V-Sync and H-Sync phases, so if it's slightly out, you can adjust it there. Uh, divisional picture compensation, built-in pattern generator. I didn't even know this had a pattern generator. That's actually pretty remarkable because sometimes we need pattern generators to go to our monitors, especially if you're dealing with like an LED video wall or something like that, and you want to spray the signal across and you want to make sure that you're um, that everything lines up and matches up properly. Uh, it has a built-in menu screen, which we talked about. 
and uh, it's very compact. This is a really detailed um, quick start guide because it, it lists how to go into the menu and what you're looking for for sync adjust and uh, your gen lock on and off and other things. Um, as well as it, it has different types of patterns for your pattern generator. It has uh, 13 different types of patterns. That's pretty helpful in certain situations when you're in an engineering environment. So back to uh, what it takes is in the back here, it takes up to 1080p60. It also does 1080i, 59i4, 60i, 50p, 30p for you uh, PAL people out there. It includes, like I said, SMPTE standard 292 and 424. Uh, it has Genlock HDSDI and 3GSDI pass through uh, Genlock 10 bit HDMI 1.3. So it's a HDMI 1.3 spec um, with a 10 bit signal. And the audio output is 16 channel embedded on the SDI or eight channels embedded on the HDMI. So you don't, it doesn't strip anything when you run it through this Genlock thing. So um, that's pretty much it. In here we have our bits and bobs for our international uh, users as well as the 12 volt power connector and then some solutions that you can keep with the device in case you're not getting any video, uh, which is basically just saying like check the power supply and the video connection and how long the run is from your SDI source. So that's it for the GCon SDI from Ada Imaging. Once again, I'm Rob Baynard, and this has been another unboxing. Thanks for watching. <laughs>